I have a serious question, and I really hope, like, because I know people don't really watch my videos, but I really hope someone watches this and can answer it for me. Um, okay, I have a warm skin tone, and I've been reading up on MAC foundation. I've never used any MAC product whatsoever, so I don't know anything about them. Um, but... I have a warm skin tone, and I was reading that um, MAC for warm tones uses a pink, and for cool tones they use a yellow, and usually that makes your skin look really bad, but most people tend to like look really good with MAC foundation on. And the question isn't so much like what kind I would need, but it's why, like how does it work like that? If any, I'm just curious. I probably won't even buy a MAC foundation because MAC's really expensive. But, oh, I guess so is Too Faced. But, um, I don't really use foundation anyways that much. God damn it. Sorry. Um, but I was just really curious as to how that works. So, I hope someone can tell me that. <laughs> but that, now, on to the review. <laughs> um, alright. So. Um, what I've heard about the Too Faced Galaxy Glam shadows is a little bit mixed, mainly positive, but a little mixed. Um, and I wanted to add my input. This is Moonbeam. This is the one with the greens in it. So it's like a, when you put it on, it's like a black with green shimmer. I don't know, it's like a, it's a black base green. Like, if you were to take a shimmery green and put it over a black base, that's what that looks like. And, as you can tell, they're very pigmented. Color payoff is absolutely amazing. And this is Deep Space, and it looks like this. Um, I'm wearing it right now. I don't know if you can actually, like, tell. But, um... I am wearing it right now on like that or in the corner or ugh, in the crease and in the outer V. I don't think and yes it's creasing but I've had it on for like twelve hours, so I don't think you can actually tell but it is absolutely awesome. <laughs> um and then, if anyone was wondering, because from far away, this does still looks somewhat nice. Um, I am using this color right here on the inside. Oh my god, that is so terrible. <laughs> Should have fixed it before the video. <laughs> and then I used this right, like, right here. And to help blend the two colors together, I used this. No, it's this. And this one matches my nails. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I did that. And, oh, I should not do that. Um, yeah. Uh, the mixed reviews were made that I was hearing about were mainly from Deep Space, and I do not understand. Like, this is my favorite of these two. It is absolutely amazing. Um,. So yeah, um, and I guess my nails, I don't know, I was pretty happy with how they turned out. I used to do this thing where I'd do like this nail and this nail were the same, like basically five different colors on my hand and it was just a hot mess. And then like I would do the one or two color difference maybe, and it still, I thought it was a hot mess, but I guess the new trend is to do like one nail different. So I decided to do like like this, and I don't know, I like it. Um, the blue, green, the teal, I don't know, if it's, it's more of a turquoise, so the turquoise is this color, it doesn't have a color name, it's from Hot Topic, and I think it was like two dollars maybe, and then the purple that looks kind of black is Sally Hansen's Insta Dry Fast Dry Nail Color in 370 
up tempo plum and it looks like this like it looks really pretty but on your nails it kind of just looks plain like you can see you can tell more in my nail bed that it's purple like back like right here but yeah so um yeah Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, YouTube.